never heard anything like it in my life. National radio host, Michael Reagan, called for the extrajudicial, no trial, the 9-11 truthers be killed. We just played the clip. He said we should all be taken out and killed. And he said, I'm serious. I want them dead. I will pay for the bullets. Kill us now. Ladies and gentlemen, this country is in the greatest crisis it's ever seen. If it falls, it will be a greater engine of evil than Nazi Germany was. It's already fallen to the Bush regime, and they've destroyed our name. They've destroyed our currency. They've destroyed our treasury. The Bill of Rights, the Constitution, is being dismantled. The leader of the Tories resigned yesterday saying that he basically discovered the government was setting up a dictatorship in England. Evil is moving across the face of the world, and in the midst of that evil, there are incredible patriots who I just get more and more respect for. Uh, Dennis Kucinich, I have to say, really is the leader now against this tyranny. I have to say that Ron Paul isn't even as strong uh, as he is when it comes to speaking out. Ron Paul did sign on to the 35 Articles of Impeachment. We salute him for that. Uh, but I have to tell you, Dennis Kucinich, uh, in this very dark climate, has courage that no one else in Congress, I, 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 I've not seen it, and I assure you he needs our prayers because this is a very wicked group, and uh, the mainstream media has tried to ignore it. Cafferty and others on... Uh, CNN and MSNBC with uh, some of the other shows like Countdown with Overman have been calling for impeachment but not really talking about the fact uh, that Dennis Kucinich is pushing for it. The congressman joins us very busy. He's with us for the next 25 minutes for the rest of this hour. Uh, you can go to uh, kucinich.house.gov and read the 35 articles of impeachment. You can also go to infowars.com and see the YouTube clips of his speech he gave a few days ago. Dennis Kucinich, uh, I just absolutely want to praise what you're doing uh, for the republic it, it, it just you really are doing something as you know that takes a lot of courage uh, I, Alex thank you very much for those kind words and for the honor of being on your show uh, your listeners are particularly attuned to uh, the erosion of democratic principles and what led me to finally introduce these articles was uh, the the totality of the offenses and the uh, ongoing violations and the possibility that we could even end up in another war uh, based on lies. We we are losing our country to to, to lies, to erosion of our civil liberties. Uh, we've moved in a direction that's profoundly anti-democratic, and Congress has a constitutional responsibility to uh, put a check on an executive abuse of power. That's what these articles of impeachment will do, and they not only set an historic uh, benchmark for uh, and an historic record for uh, future generations, but they also send a message to whoever would be the next president that uh, such uh, usurpations and abuses are not going to be tolerated. Congressman, just to break down for those that don't know the process, you basically have brought charges to the equivalent of the grand jury which That's is correct. the House, which will then decide whether or not to indict. Then it will go to a trial in the Senate. If Richard Nixon, who did one one hundredth, literally, of what Bush and his crime syndicate have done, and if Clinton deserved for what he did to, to, to be indicted in the House, there is no doubt that George Bush and his group of cronies must be indicted just to get our country's name back and to let the police and military know that what they've been ordered to do is illegal, because now we see the precedent set for all forms of tyranny. Can you walk through how important it is that people get behind this process, and how do we, you know, A, what has Bush and his crime syndicate done, B, uh, how do we help you get this done? Uh, Alex, the first thing that I want to say after listening to the way that you provided a capsule summary is that um, you yourself are someone who uh, needs to be appreciated for your understanding what's happening, your willingness to communicate it to people. So I thank you for understanding. Thank you. I, I, th I thank you for understanding the scope of the challenge that we face and for outlining it in the way that you have because it essentially uh we uh you know these charges have to be uh, presented to the ex uh judiciary committee which then will uh hopefully hold a hearing and send it to the house with a report uh which uh, then will be voted on and if the president is impeached in the house he would go on trial in the senate uh this whole 
uh, th- this is a moment where we have the opportunity to reclaim our government and to reclaim all that's good and right in America and what we stand for, not only with respect to each other, but what we stand for in the world. Uh, I love this country. I, you know, there, I get chills when I watch the flag pass by in a parade. I feel a, 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 I wear an American flag because, and, and it has a, it, I, a blind person gave it to me because it has USA and Braille on it. So then even a blind person would know I'm wearing this flag because I love this country. I love the flag. I love what America has historically stood for. But I see our country as, as being destroyed by people who don't want to obey the law and just want to be a law to themselves. Uh, that's why uh, there's got to be an accounting for the loss of lives of our soldiers that have been uh, were sent there on a, on a mission that was not based in truth. There's got to be an accounting for the injuries to them. There's got to be an accounting for... The innocent Iraqis who have died for the for the huge amounts of money that we're borrowing to be able to keep this war going, and and every other president who has been held to uh, uh, a measure of accounting, uh, their offenses uh, pale in comparison to the offenses of this president. And you've put out 35. Let's just cover five or six of what you think are most important, and they're all very important uh, of those 35, Congressman Dennis Kucinich. Well. The, you know the the ones that deal with Iraq really talk about manufacturing a false case for war, and, and it's been just demonstrated over and over that all the representations that were made uh, that Iraq uh, supposedly had weapons of mass destruction, posing them in a threat, uh, that uh, it had something to do with 9/11 or Al Qaeda's role in 9/11, all of those uh, attempts to try to get the American people to believe that, and an organized effort was made, in fact, were based in falsehood. Um, and so uh, a war of aggression was begun against a country that did not attack us. Uh, and such a war is in violation of international law, uh, the, uh, which puts George Bush within the reach of an international tribunal. This is why Congress needs to become involved. We cannot let other governments or other jurisdictions uh, do our work for us. We need to uh, look at the record and recognize that law has been violated and it has to become a matter of a systematic public examination. When that happens, uh, you know, it said that you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. This, this country will begin to be freed from the grip of fear, which has, uh, which has been placed its clammy hold on us uh, since 9-11 and the capitalization on the events of 9-11 for political purposes will end. And, and we'll get our country back. This is about getting our country back, uh, reestablishing the rule of law, getting back our civil liberties, putting aside, you know, enforcing posse comitatus, uh, making sure there's no more torture or wiretapping or eavesdropping or, uh, you know, any of the things that, that are un-American. We're, we're, going to, we're going to reclaim America, and the impeachment resolution and the 35 articles are intent on doing just that. You've got quite a few co-sponsors just a few days into this. Tell us about that process, sir. Uh, in, well, the bill just went to judiciary yesterday, and Congress uh, adjourned for the week uh, early in the day. Uh, we have four uh, now three co-sponsors, uh, Congressman Wexler, Congresswomen Lee and Woolsey have co-sponsored. Uh, next week will be an opportunity for people to uh, become uh, co-sponsors, I would ask. Uh, your, your listeners to please call their member of Congress and indicate your support for co-sponsorship. I would ask everyone who's listening, please read the articles of impeachment because the more conversant you are, the more fluent you'll be in talking to congressional staff about the urgency of members of Congress getting onto it. Um, my uh, information is available on my website at kucinich.us, and certainly, uh, you know, if you check, there, there's a hundred thousand places on the web by now that. I uh, have information about the articles of impeachment. Uh, you know, this is time for us all to get involved. And so what you can do is, is learn about it, read about it, be conversant in it, contact a member of Congress, make sure that they've read it, ask them to support the resolution, H.R. Uh, 1258, and then demand hearings. We have to have hearings. We cannot 
avert our eyes. So that's the key. The, the hearings will open up this evidence. It will become a televised spectacle, which is what we need, so more people learn about the crimes that have committed. And by the way, you had to stop at 35. Uh, there were, I mean, what about a million dead Iraqis? Uh, what about, I mean, when you add it all together, it, it, frankly, I've got to say that yours is very measured, and I would call even conservative as bad as the 35 are. Now, I had read that 25 congressmen and women had, quote, signed on to it. I'd seen a media blurb. Is it I guess that means they have publicly said they're supporting it. They just haven't had a... They may be confused about that. That may have related to the Cheney impeachment. I'm not aware that we have 25 co-sponsors, uh, but I will find that out uh, immediately. All right. Um, how soon until we'll find out if we're able to force hearings in the House? Well, here's, here's what I've said. Uh, we, we need to start making calls, and all next week... We need to be calling members of Congress and encouraging them to sign on, uh, and um, and also encouraging them to ask for hearings in judiciary. Um, I'm going to be meeting with the chairman of judiciary and also with members of the judiciary committee, providing them with backup documentation for the charges that are in the article.